Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Smith & Wesson M&P9 Long Performance Center. This is quite a pistol and a powerhouse at that, boasting an impressive almost 400 feet per second over the chronograph. But before I go any further, I'd like to thank Jackal Tactical for sponsoring the channel. They've been around for 10 years. They've been around for 10 years because of their awesome staff and their two locations, one in Ambush, the other in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. They also have an online store. Links are in the description. Now, unboxing. Let's unbox this. This is CO2. So Boomerx does make CO2. Their CO2s are top-notch. I would strongly suggest using their CO2s. Now let's dive into this and see what we got. Obviously, CO2. There's the owner's manual. So all your information in there does have your information about your adjustable hop-up and all other info like that. So here, now because this is the M&P series, it does have adjustable back straps, so we can replace these. We'll get into that. Threaded barrel, so you can put a suppressor or if you would like to run like a uh, tracer unit, you can do that. And it is the standard 14 millimeter counterclockwise, which I'll grab one and throw it on there just so you can see what it looks like. And it does have raised suppressor sights, so you'll be able to see over that flash can or whatever you put on there. They're just a white three dot system, so Nothing, nothing crazy, but you can pick it up really, really quick when you throw the pistol up. So that is really nice. I like that. So here's the pistol with the back straps. Here is the small, the large, and the medium that's on here. The medium fits perfect for me with all of their pistols. I, I really like that. Um, also comes with a Allen wrench, like I said, CO2. So your mags, these are the drop free mags right there. CO2 goes right down in there. Uh, really solid construction feels great drops free no problem elite force does have extra mags that you can buy so i actually have a few extra mags so running this will be a breeze i cannot wait to actually take this out to the field and uh, run this i'll probably field this most of this year just to see how it performs i've had great luck with their 1911 really like that pistol we also have one of their glocks um, just i've always been happy with the performance from elite force just especially in their pistols their co2 and gas pistols i, I really like them a lot and that's been three years of, of running them so really happy with that Another thing I really like is this enhanced mag release right here. It sticks out a little bit further. It's got like somewhat like passive stippling on it to uh, drop the mag. That's really nice. It, it is the Performance Center model, so it does have some slightly upgraded uh, features about it. Um, slide, slide release up here does seem to be slightly enhanced, which is really nice, like I said, with the lightning cuts up front right there. Really awesome. Here's the Strike Industries oppressor. We're just going to throw it on the front to show you what it looks like. This is a little excessive. I would run this on a rifle, not really on a pistol, but hey, let's see what it looks like. And there it is with the oppressor on. So it is so big that even with suppressor sights, it sits above uh, the sights, which does kind of obstruct your field of view or it's, you're gonna have to point shoot with something this big. A lot of the other pistol tracer units are gonna be a lot smaller than this. Like I said, this one's big. This You run on a rifle, not necessarily a pistol. So they'll fit just fine. I need to get a new one in my inventory. I don't have one right now. So just for reference and showing you that it is that 14 counterclockwise, 14 millimeter, but there it is. And with this on there, it is really front heavy. I forgot to mention this. The magazine capacity is 14 rounds. And like I said, you can get extra mags from Elite Force, which you can do all your shopping at Jackal Tactical over at their website or at one of their two locations. So with that being said, this will wrap up the video. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section. I would love to get back to you about these guns and look for a full field review, waiting until it gets a little bit warmer here in Pennsylvania to actually do a field test. But that'll wrap up the video. Catch you on the next one.